Good morning. My name is Greg Sinell. I'm with Napide Manufacturing in our industrial products team. And today I'm here with my good friends of Mohawk Chevrolet to talk about their latest purchase, a Napide KMT-1 on a Chevrolet 5500 medium duty crew cab. I'd like to start right here at the front compartment. Inside our, our left front vertical or street side vertical, we have a C-Tech drawer unit. It is an aluminum drawer set that a mechanic can use to store his tools and organize himself, make himself very, very efficient. It has a lift and lock technology, which is a very smooth operating drawer, and it can be used to store all of his tools. In the compartment next to it, he can store additional tools or supplies. It has two shelves from the factory, just as you see it. Napide also has a double panel door that we use in lieu of a single panel door. The double panel door actually has a function. Inside the double panel, you'll notice this rain gutter up here. You'll also notice there's a little bit of dirt in there. That keeps the dirt from entering the inside of the compartment when the truck's going down the road, and it also gives the door a very good rigid design and, and gives it a lot of strength. To seal the compartment, we use a bulb seal inside the door, just like the OEM uses on the factory door. It's a bulb seal that the door actually contacts when it's closed, so that the seal is actually on the inside of the door here, contacting the, the rubber seal. Closing the door, we have an over center door retainer. It's a spring operated retainer where other companies are using a gas prop. We use a, a spring over center and it's because that helps pull the door shut and it helps seal it. Also holds it open on a windy day. We have inside the next compartment a bolt bin that Mechanics will actually use for hardware storage. This is a poly bolt bin from Sordomo. It holds up extremely well. It's not just a plastic tub. It's actually a design polymer that works very well in the elements. The cold doesn't affect it, heat doesn't affect it. But the beauty of it is the end user can take this compartment out and take it right to his job site where he's working. Simply slides right back in and stores in place. Moving to the next compartment, we simply have uh, two adjustable shelves in here for storage is basically about it. Coming around the back of the truck, you'll notice we have our workbench bumper. Our workbench bumper also houses two different vice mount locations for a, a user to operate off the right or the left hand side of the truck. The vice mount plate would get mounted here and the vice would get mounted on top of that. You'll notice that the bumper is lined. We have a, a uh, spray coating lining over the bumper as well. A step on the bottom of the bumper allows the user to get up and off the back of the truck in a safe manner and you'll notice this little lip right here on the bottom of the bumper on the face of the bumper rather a user can actually clamp a piece of material here and, and cut it with a torch if need be that's a very nice feature that they they tell us they like here we've got a aluminum grab handle that's rubber coated to help the user get on and off the truck safely it's got a nice grip there next to that we've got our napide stop tail turn tail light as well as a backup with a strobe light inside of it. Work light mounted above that on the poly box. And this handle right here is a master lock that allows the user to lock one side of the body. You push that in and put a padlock there, he's got one side of the body completely locked down. You'll also notice a trailer hitch with a receiver plug in the rear. Our tailgate is a drop down, drop down tailgate, very heavy duty tailgate. You'll notice that the inside of the body is lined as well. That's all a standard feature. We've got six tie down rings inside the bed to secure a load. Moving around the corner. Now you can see the bumper storage. There's long handle tool storage inside the bumper for pry bars, things like that. You also get a good look at our outrigger design. Our outrigger design has a tube over it to protect the cylinder from damage from debris coming off the rear wheels. And where all the magic happens is in the right rear compartment. In here, you've got a 50 foot hose on a real craft reel that actually extends out from the back of the truck so the user can use his air tools with 50 foot a half inch hose. Also inside here, you've got the pressure regulator for the air compressor and our, our electrical boxes, our CAN bus system that turns everything electrically on that we've added to the truck. So crane controls, air compressor controls, auxiliary lighting, all of that is run through our, our CAN bus system there. We have an eight switch panel here in the back and when the function is actually on and functioning, the uh, button will actually turn green just like that. So if I turn the crane on, you'll see that it's backlit green. That way the user knows that that particular function is up and working. Our uh, outrigger controls are these three handles here. You basically have an outrigger that will extend out three feet and then down. 
You can literally level the truck. We have a sight gauge here or a level here, so you can see when the truck is level. You want to get the truck level before operating the crane. And then you have the important load charts that show what you can pick up at what distance. So it shows the user exactly how he needs to set up to pick up a specific amount of weight. So we're moving right along. We come back to the curbside horizontal compartment. In here, we just have a very nice shelf, again, for storing bulkier items. Users will put uh, battery operated tools on these shelves and things like that. There's just shelves in here as well. Just shelving in there for storage. Moving right along, we're coming to our raised right compartment. This is which houses our oxygen and acetylene bottles. Many times a user will have an oxygen and acetylene bottle on board for torching. He might also have a welder placed on the unit. Here we've got a nice shelf for storing welding rod and things like that. And in our oxygen acetylene compartment, you'll actually have the holders that strap the tanks to the wall. So they're secured while going down the road. And you'll also notice that this compartment is vented top and bottom to get rid of any of those maybe leaky uh, oxygen acetylene gases so you don't have an explosion or something of that nature. Inside here, we've also got the vice mount plate. This is the plate that, that slips into the bumper on the back and they mount their vice on there. You also have up here, I don't know if you can see in here, but these, these J hooks, they're used for uh, holding the oxygen and the settling hoses that the, the end user would use. So another nice feature we have on the Napide KMT-1 body is our auxiliary equipment riser. You'll notice that there's a plate that's welded onto the body during manufacturing that allows us to mount auxiliary welders and Miller Impact type of equipment without drilling down through the compartment top. This air compressor is a 40 CFM air compressor and it's mounted to that auxiliary plate and there's no holes being drilled down through the compartment tops to allow water to enter. Roger Callop here from Mohawk Chevrolet. I just want to thank the team from Napide for coming out here and showing us all around this beautiful KMT truck we have. I just wanted to go through a little bit of the Chevy stuff with you guys. So this is a 5500 chassis, has a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax in it, backed by an Allison transmission. This truck is going to be, you know, basically able to tow and do whatever you need it to do. This vehicle we equipped with the Alcoa wheels, aluminum gives it a great finish on the outside of the vehicle, along with some chrome accents all the way through. As we go inside to the vehicle, you'll notice that it has a nice vinyl interior. Power seat for the driver allows them to get height adjustment to see over the, this big hood that we have out front. Also power locks, power windows, power mirrors, everything like that. This is a four-wheel drive model and also has an integrated trailer brake controller. Not to mention all the goodies that Napide puts inside. Inside you'll see some more control panels from Napide for some of the stuff, the operations of the body and the crane and everything like that. You can seat three people wide in this vehicle. This model is a crew cab, so as we come to the back here, you're gonna notice that there's a full bench seat all the way across, allows you another three passengers in the rear. So you can bring up to six people to the job site with this vehicle here. We do also offer this combination in a regular cab as well, in case you need that little bit of a shorter wheelbase. Once again, I'm Roger Calla from Mohawk Chevrolet, and I wanna give a great Mohawk thank you to the Napai team for coming out here for the training, and our great business partner, Dejana, for distributing us this truck. It's been great, and here at Mohawk Chevrolet, contact our fleet team with any questions you may have, because here we always go out of our way to please you.